So guys, this is very simple. Let's answer this question and um, it is very, very simple. So we are given this flowchart and we are asked to come up with a program which is a pseudocode. So how do you answer this question? This is very simple. Okay. So you are going to start with the first one, which is the start. Even you start with what? Start. Yes. Begin with the start here. Then enter, enter A. Even here, just indent, just um, move the enter A a little bit inside here, just to say, uh, usually to the second letter, just say, enter, enter A. Okay? And then you go to the next. All right? This is now, this is where the issue star, starts from. It's saying, is A less than zero? Okay, is A less than zero? So what you do here, you is interpreted as what? If, you also indent, just say if. If A is less than zero, then, okay, then what do you do? Print this one. Print error message. You're going to say, print Print error message. This is very simple. Print error message. A must be must be posi positive. Okay. So since you have two possi possible answers, so you can have yes. So this is yes. No, you say else. Else. This is the no. Else, enter H. Else, enter, enter, enter H. Okay? Enter H. Then, again, you have a condition on H. Is H less than zero? So, is, just say if. Okay? So, you say, if... H is um, if H is less than less than zero, then then print print what? Check here. Error message H must be positive. Then print print error error message error message h must be posy must be positive okay if it's negative if it's positive else okay else uh, else else what do you do else we now calculate else just add this else, right? Else, uh, just in line with this, else v is equals to a times h, which is area multiplied by height h. Then after here, you see there is display, then stop. You say, and if, okay, and if. Then this what? Display, display V, which is volume. Okay? Display V. All right? Yeah, this is supposed to be a little bit this side, just here. This what? Display. Um, let me just write it nicely. Display V. Okay? Then in the same line as start here, then you just say, Stop. After doing everything you do at it, you stop here. And it is just it, five marks. Okay? Five marks. So that's how this is, is done. Okay? Now, sometimes you may be given this program and you are asked to do it, to come up with a flowchart. And it is, very, it is very simple. Coming up with a flowchart from this is very simple. Start is a symbol for start. So let's do this. We can practice using our own work here. 
okay? Our own stuff, what we've done. So what you do here, um, we're going to start, the symbol is over, start here, so we're going to write start here, enter A, so we're going to write an arrow here, enter, display, this is a parallelogram, we use a parallelogram, so we're going to say enter A, then down here if A is less than zero, so here what we're going to do, we're going to draw this diamond shape, okay? diamond shape and ask yourself if changes to is and you will be, be just say is is what is a less than zero okay you're asking yourself then they're saying what do you do then print error message and a um, print error message a must area must be positive or a must be positive so here we're going to say yes yes it is less than zero then you're going to say error. So like here, we, we, what is written? So going to you, you you don't write print error in, inside here. Just see, you just write error message, message, error message. Then um, what next? So our program error message A must be positive. A must be posi positive. Then you complete here your parallelogram. So we are not told to re-enter positive area. When we are told to re-enter positive area, we will go back here to the entering what point here, okay? So since we are not asked, then we proceed. Then we are told here else, else enter H. Okay, else so we just say no. So enter H. No meaning, if 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 it is not less than zero, we just see, proceed. So enter H. Again, H has conditions here. Okay, it's saying if H is less than zero, so you you're going to say is H less than zero. So is this will be um where's that one? Okay, so we're going to draw the the the, the diamond shape here. Or the rhombus, we're going to say is H less than zero. If the answer is yes, what do you do? Print error message, error message. Okay, so we're going to say error message. Error message, uh, H must be, must be positive. Even here, we're not going to enter, or else we would have just done this. Okay, from here, going back to this. Okay, then they're saying else V is so this is where we calculate. Okay, if all the conditions are okay, if all the conditions are okay, let's proceed to calculating volume. So, for calculating volume, this is called an action box, it's a rectangle. Okay, a rectangle. So, this is where you're going to this is where you're going to say V is equals to area multiplied by you use a star H, which is height. Then they're saying, and if, you see, and if display volume, just use this shape for display volume. The shape for displaying volume here is very simple. It is that, it is that for enter, are we together? Okay, so here, this is the parallelogram. So we're going to say display, display, um, this for display V. Then stop. Okay, you stop here. So you are done. This is your flowchart. Okay, so this is as it is as, as exactly as it is in the question here. You oh, see, so you can practice, come up with a program from this, and then using use the program if you, you can get back to this question. Okay, question. All right. So that's how it's done. If this has been helpful to you or helpful. Uh, consider liking and subscribing thank you so much